Hi there YouTube, uh, today I'm able to show you something really really interesting. Here, right here covering my hand are Lonomia caterpillars and they are a Saturnid from South America, um, these originate from Costa Rica and as you can see they have really interesting social behaviors. They seem to flock together, they feed together which makes them on kind of processionary caterpillar. Um, these are actually one of the most venomous caterpillars on earth. So let that sink in for a minute. Well, um, I'll explain why I am able to handle them. And the reason I'm able to handle them is because their toxicity, so that means uh, how potent their venom is, it, it seems to vary quite a lot in captivity and it, it's said to vary uh, depending on their diet and it also varies per species for example in Brazil one species of Lonomia is found to be deadly causing internal bleedings and death upon skin contact the Lonomia oblica and well, the spines are on their back, as you can see. So it is, they are not stinging me right now, actually. It's quite relatively safe to handle them because the spines, they, they don't cover the feet. So when they walk uh, upon a surface, they are not actively stinging it. But if I were to, to press these against my skin, then the venomous spines would inject my skin with venom. So, well... You're probably wondering uh, how dangerous this is. Well, currently, under these conditions, they are not very dangerous. I have felt a sting and it just feels like a, a stinging nettle. It's, it's quite mild, to be honest. But the reason I am telling you not to try this at home is because just the, the, the toxicity can vary so much. Because if you encounter these in the wild, they made me deadly and the reason they made me deadly is because in the wild they may just have a different diet which changes the potency of their venom and deadly species among this family have been found mainly in Brazil one pest is the Lonomia oblica but I find this a really really interesting uh, species and a really interesting family and I, if it were possible I'd like to do a little bit of research on them. It's just these social behaviors, I love them. Just look at their colors, yeah, they have a little bit of jade green in them, like a gemstone. See, just look at their, their little faces right here. Just look at it. Well, the moths are also quite beautiful, but they are usually yellow or gray, and they have great camouflage. They look like a dead leaf. So hopefully in the future, if all goes well, I'll be able to film the moths as well. So I'll just show you a couple of more close-ups. So let's make them walk away, let it wriggle my hands, so maybe it will wake them up. Wake up, little ones. Wow, just look at these. It's amazing. And um, well, I've already said it, but I'd like to say it again. Please do not try this at home. I am not a professional. I am just one crazy person who is willing to try this out in the name of science. So, if you encounter Lonomia caterpillars in the wild, please leave them alone. For some of them may have the ability to actually kill you or severely impair your health. Some of them are able to cause internal bleeding damage. So that's something to stay away from. And I have a lot of respect for them. Oh, looks like two of them are wandering off. Where are you going? Oh well, it's a long road. Well, thank you for watching and hopefully you found this interesting to watch. So. I'll keep you updated and hopefully one day I'll be able to film the moss.